Young Mom Forever. My name is Melissa and you can guess from the background what we're going to review today. It is the Jamberry Nails. The company was kind enough to send me two. One to review and one to give away. This is the one I'm going to review today. I've already slit the side to open it instead of pulling it out of the top so I can show you. It is the Sassy Zebra. It has... 18 sets on there. I don't know if you could tell from the size of my finger, but they're really long. So you can cut them into half, or depending how long your fingernails are. You could do your fingernails with this 18 set two to three times. So it is a, for $15, you do get your nails done two to three times. I know I could spend $50, $60 to get my nails done once. Even if I go to the cheap places and pay just $20 for just nail paints, they don't do fancy designs like this. And you still charge me about $20. So this is a great deal. I'm going to go ahead and do them right now. I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of me doing them. My nails to show you just how easy they are. I have never done Jabberry nails before. I've got, done acrylic. I've done UV nails. I've done all that. I've never done the Jabberry nails like this. I've never even tried these stick-on decals like this, so we're gonna go ahead and see how they go. Step one, you wanna go ahead and just get a cuticle pusher and go ahead and push back your cuticles. All right, I went in and just filed my nail because I like my nails real squared at the top. So I go ahead, went ahead and just squared out my nail. Next, you have to do is match your nail to the wrap. Of course, that one's bigger than my nail, it's not gonna fit. I do it like this, it's easier for me to do it like that. Oh, um, looks like it fits my nail perfect. I don't like my full nail painted, so I'm just gonna do like the tips of my nails. In my case, that I do the tips, I could probably use this one three times. So I could probably use this, shoot, maybe six times this set. On the back, it has instructions and steps, which I'm following. The next step is just to peel off the nail wrap and warm the adhesive side. So peel it off the plastic on the sticky side. Heat it up with a mini heater or blow dryer. So I'm going to use my Vadal Salon dryer. It says to warm it for three to five seconds or until soft and flexible. All right, so I got my nail. I'm gonna cut it because I'm not gonna use that much of it. I'm actually gonna use just a little piece because I'm just gonna use my tips. I'm just gonna do the tips of my nails. So I got my little scissors. I'm gonna heat up the glue side. I turn up the audio so you wanna hear the blow dryer. All right, now that it's warm, I'm just gonna take it and press it to my nail where I want to stick it. I get as straight as I can. Smooth as I can. My nails are, I don't know if you can see, but my nails aren't really, really smooth because of how many times I've done them with acrylic and stuff, but they're always bumpy. So we'll see how well this does when your nails are already all messed up. <laughs> but it was hot and I stuck it on my nail. It says to use rubber cuticle pusher to seal around the, the base. But I'm not doing the full nail, so I'm not going to be doing that. Then it's just to trim the top. You can see I did do extra my do hang over on the top. So I have to cut off that piece with scissors and file off the linen wrap. So I'm going to cut the excess top off without cutting my fingernail. Keep pushing make sure I got the decal on there or polish on there tight. Now it says to take a file and file off the remaining in a downward motion. And so it would be that way. Downward motion. All 
Right, so I have fully done it. You can see I have my tip on, which is really cute for me because I know I pay a lot of money just for my tips, for acrylic tips to be done. But of course, you can see it's like real shiny, like it doesn't match the rest of my nail. So right now I'm gonna get a clear polish and just polish over my regular nail. But first it says to they apply heat to make sure that it's stuck on well and just push it down after you apply the heat to make sure that it's stuck well so it doesn't come off. Right, I got my clear polish. It's just the generic brand. I usually use the Sally Henson. All I'm doing is gonna get the base, the bottom, to make sure that it just all matches. Of course, you don't have to do this if you do the full wrap, but I don't like the full wrap. I know that sounds weird. A lot of people do, so it's odd. But I only like my tips done. So I'm just doing a simple shiny full nail coat, and it looks, I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like if I just spent with your $60 doing my nails at the salon. For $15, and I could do them like this, since I do, you could do them two to three times each pack, but the way I just did my tip, I could use that one three times. So I mean, 18, I could probably do my nails three, maybe four times. But I love how they look, they look so pretty. They're a Jamboree Nails, they're gonna be, they're kind enough to host a giveaway. So I have my set I'm using. They sent me another set, exactly the same, to give away. So if you're interested in the giveaway, go below, click like, subscribe to me as an extra entries, then go to youngmomforever.wordpress.com and enter for your chance to win this set of nails. Bye-bye.